Hey everyone, Rock DIY here. Today I am going to change out the windshield washer reservoir. As you can see, you can only see this portion here, um, but it's actually very large. And this is a 2008 Honda CRV EXL. So, what's involved in removing the windshield washer reservoir is removing the bumper. This piece here, the right front headlight, and this piece right here will all have to be removed in order to get the windshield washer reservoir out. These are some of the tools that may be required. Um, a small needle nose, just in case, cross tip, flat tip right angle pick and then some trim tools 10 millimeter socket ratchet and might also need a an extension since i'm going to be removing a lot of plastic retainer or nylon retainers i've got a little container here to put them all into and just be prepared especially if you're doing this year uh, a 2008 honda CRV that a lot of these nylon retainers are prone to breaking uh, because of the age of the vehicle and the age of the, the nylon they typically will break so just be prepared that you might have to purchase some new ones so go ahead and pop the centerpiece out and then wiggle it out of place Some of these retainers stay together and then sometimes the centers pop right out. So they come apart, just put the center back in. On this piece right here, there are seven nylon retainers. Once you got those out, just Lift up a little bit, slide it out, and that piece is now out of the way. So the next one is going to be is that one. So besides removing that nylon retainer. There are two plastic white ones up underneath that you have to pull up and pop out. Removing this gives you access to this uh, screw right here for the headlight. Take this screw out. It's a cross tip but it's also 10 millimeter bolt head on it. And there's a screw right here. Most of these screws on the headlight are different so you may want to mark them or you want to take good pictures or video so you put them back in the right place all right so so far we took out this piece which had seven nylon retainers in it we took out this piece here which was one plastic retainer on top and then two retainers under the underside of it the screw here was removed the screw here was removed and in this case because all the screws are different on the headlight i marked the uh, screw with yellow uh, chalk and then also put a yellow mark here so i know the yellow screw goes right back here now what has to be done is there are retainers up under here that need to be removed on both sides of the car and then two 10 millimeter bolts and then uh, plastic rivets need to come out 
and then the face of the bumper can be removed. You want to make it easier for yourself to access the uh, screw and the nylon retainers under here. You could remove the tires, but you could just start the car, turn the wheels, and then uh, remove what you need to remove, and then do the same thing for the other side. There are four nylon retainers. One, two, three, and four. And then over there is a 10 millimeter bolt. And then on the opposite side, there's another one as well. These two 10 millimeter bolts are notorious for being a pain because there's actually multiple pieces that are uh, being held together and then there's a clip and sometimes the clip is broken off so you may not be able to get it off properly and you can see this plastic retainer is already missing Alright, so those retainers are out now. I just need to take the 10 millimeter bolt out. Yep, the metal retainer on the back side is spinning. See if this will hold until I get the penetrating and we'll see what happens. It may not help at all. But I'll try it. Yeah, so at some point, these plastic pieces that all come together and get bolted down all got broke somehow, and now it just spins as multiple pieces on the other side. Hopefully I have better luck with this one. passenger side for this side and then I'll just do the opposite for the other side when it comes time. Didn't realize the camera was on but there was two cross tip screws, one here, one here and then there was a nylon retainer that went up in here and then once those are out, you can just start pulling it and it'll pop out the bumper. It'll start popping out, as you can see here. And now you just gotta kind of follow along, make sure nothing's uh, still attached. And just be careful not to break anything off. Now I'm gonna go do the passenger side. The passenger side, remove this short cross tip screw 
And there's the other one up here. Inside here, you can see where the windshield washer reservoir is inside the wheel well and the front bumper. So there's why the windshield washer reservoir doesn't work because this hose right here, one of the little prongs right here broke off the bumper probably got hit right there and when it got hit it broke that piece off the pump so the reservoir might be fine it's just the pump that's broken it almost looks like you would be able to remove the windshield washer reservoir from inside the wheel well but that's not the case because there's bolts that are behind the bumper skin so you would not be able to get it out this way. You see all these retention points right here. So once you get about right here is when the bumper will actually, or the bumper skin will actually want to come off. to disconnect the fog lights and then the bumper skin will be free. One off. Let me get this one off. These have a bunch of grit in them, so just be prepared that they're not going to want to come off very easily. That's it. The bumper is completely off. There's the front bumper skin removed in order to get to the windshield washer reservoir. So there's one screw right there. Yeah, uh, removed. And there's yeah, one here. And then there is a plastic retainer right there. I removed the plastic or nylon retainer from there. Now I just need to remove this 10 millimeter bolt. top of this bolt head with white chalk marked where the bolt goes with white chalk there I used green chalk for back there and I used yellow for there this is the only bolt that had a Phillips head top on it so I know that's the only place that, that one can go now that all of those are out slide the headlight out so that needs to come off that needs to come off that one needs to come off and that bulb this bulb right here come out this just unplugs this one right here you just push the little tab pops right out Luckily that one just clicked right off, but these other two have to be pried off. Now the headlight can be completely
completely moved out of the way. Now there is access to the initial washer reservoir. There's supposed to be a retainer right there, but it was already off. Missing. So that piece just pops right out. And then you can see there's a bolt head right down there. 10 millimeter. And then there's another one right down there. And then one more right there. So those need to come off. The uh, pump needs to be disconnected. The hose on this side is already off. I'm going to get the hose off on this side. So I'm going to use this pick. That one off I need to get this one here. Alright, there we go. All three bolts are out. Hoses. Well, the way they got them routed are actually preventing me from removing it. There we go. There's the old tank. The new tank definitely does not look like the old tank. And mainly right here. You can see where this was fluid area and there's nothing over here like there is over here. It's like smaller here and then it looks like it's Looks like it holds possibly less, but then up here it's fatter and up there it's fatter. So hopefully it'll go in. Obviously there are some differences between the old and the new windshield washer reservoirs. And I am hoping that the new one will go in despite the differences. But what I did have to do in order to even see if it would go is I had to remove another a uh, nylon retainer from up here to open up the wheel well so it would allow the neck of the windshield washer reservoir to go up in there. I'll get it in there and see if it'll actually mount where the bolt holes are. If not, then it's going to have to be returned. The good thing is, is that it looks like the only thing that is wrong with the old windshield washer reservoir is the actual pump. And the new one came with a pump, so might be able to just switch out the pumps and put the old windshield washer reservoir back in. So you can see here that where that bolt's supposed to go on there, can't mount because the actual hole is one inch in and over this way and then that bolt hole it's so far away there's like a three quarter inch gap between where the hole is and where it should go into the body of the car and then this is the only one that actually has the notch there and the bolt hole right there but 
doesn't it doesn't sit properly. The neck is bunched up right there. At this point, I have to remove the pump from this one, remove the pump from the old one, switch them out, and then hopefully be able to turn this one for a refund. Here's where we're at now with the windshield washer reservoir. Can't use this one. I'm gonna have to use this one with that piece. Um, they're completely different. The mounting holes are in different spots. There's only one that's actually where it should be, uh, but that's not the way it should be mounted. So um, the new one will not be used. The old pump was removed from this one, and that's actually the only thing that was wrong with the new windshield washer reservoir came with a pump and the, this pump is the same exact pump as the other one so I can take this one and put it on here and it will work. I took it inside, cleaned it up, filled it all the way up with water and then checked to verify that there were no cracks or holes in the actual reservoir and there weren't so that is good so now I just need to put the new pump on the old reservoir and connect the hoses and then reinstall it and that'll be it. You need to be really careful putting the pump on you don't want to snap these off so try to hold the body and then push it into the rubber grommet and then it locks in place here. Get rid of the old pump and slide the tank back in. I need to route those, those hoses back onto the, the reservoir. So I need them to stick out for now. So those hoses are now routed the way they're supposed to be. Go ahead and reconnect that. Make sure it's locked in place. And when I took the old pump off what I did was I marked the hose that had the white piece broken off in it to make sure that I put this hose specifically back on the white bar and then this one will go on the black bar before I reinstall everything I'm going to fill this up with water just to make sure it runs and that it doesn't leak. And then I'll drain the water out of it and then ensure that windshield washer fluid gets put in it. I'll go ahead and put the screws back into the reservoir. And I'll start with this side bolt. That one's on. I just need to put the other two on. Before I tighten that one all the way down, I'm going to get this very bottom one started first.
Alright, bottom one's tightened, middle one's tightened, and the outside one is tightened. So, that is all done. The next step is to put the headlight back in. Put that bulb back in. Press the harness. this back over here where it was plug that straight back in and that piece so that is all of the connections now just need to slide the headlight and where it goes, make sure everything lines up. So now I just need to put all of the screws back in. Alright, so I got my green marked screw, my yellow marked screw, my not marked screw with a uh, Phillips head top, and I got my white screw. This one's going to go right here. I'm just going to get it started. The yellow one. It's going to go right here. Get that started. The white one's going to go over here on the side. And then the green one will go in the, the front. started before I actually tighten it down. Top one tightened, this one's tightened. Take the front one. And now the side one. So that's all tightened up. And then the last thing is there is a retainer that goes on the front. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and put the water in the windshield washer reservoir to make sure it works before I go any further. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put this back in place. This is the only plastic retainer that's the Christmas tree type with this. The other, this doesn't have a pop center. This one goes right there. The weather strip back in place. It's all good to go. I put the washer reservoir neck back on but there was a retainer that was already missing from down there so i'm gonna put a new one on there all right we've got water in the reservoir and i do not see any leaks but i might test it further by going in and trying the, the pump make sure it works
so the pump definitely works now. The pump didn't work before because all the water was getting out of the, the reservoir. So. Now it works. I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep spraying it until all the water is out. are actually hanging above the top of the car instead of at the windshield. The windshield washer reservoir is completely drained of water now. Now what I need to do is connect the fog light wiring harness on both sides and then put the bumper cover back in place. And that's just a matter of Making sure everything lines up, popping it in where it goes. Putting the cardboard box on there to give a little relief to the connectors for the fog lights. Putting those screwdrivers in there for now. So everything is locked in place along the front. Go ahead and put this cover back in place. Some of the retainers are Old, well, they're all pretty much old, but some of them are just useless at this point. They don't even stay in or actually hold anything, so there's no point in leaving them in. So I'm just going to look through the ones I have. Let's see if I can find the right one. Two cross tip screws when you go in up here and down here. And also there is a nylon retainer that needs to go on. And that will go just above this cross tip screw right here. 